First, just wind the ball clockwise until it stops. Then, with the trigger end down, push the ball down. Now, push the red trigger lever down and rotate the safety ring. Next, unwind the ball until you feel a release of the tension. Go no more than one quarter inch. This knob controls the firing mechanism and backing off more than one quarter of an inch removes the second safety. This step is only done when the device is ready to fire. Now load it. Just a reminder to set up your mole cat before working in the soil in order to keep it clean. Place it in one of the scent-free bags that come with the device. This bag does three things. One, it masks all human scent. Two, it acts as a larger triggering area so that if the mole touches the bag, the device will fire. And three, it keeps the mole cat clean. Now, clear the mole hill and save the dirt. Use an old tablespoon to open the tunnel. Use a probe to find the direction of the mole tunnel. Before placing the mole cat in the hole, swish it around in the dirt you saved in order to add natural scent. It is now time to place the mole cat in the hole. Always allow airspace around the device. Once placed, use one of the anchors that come with the device to secure it to the ground. Now, just open the top of the bag and do two important things, in this order only. One, turn the trigger safety to the fire position by simply turning the ring. And two, gently turn the hammer safety counterclockwise until it stops. The manufacturer recommends using a cover over the mole cat so it is not set off accidentally by animals, children, or pets. If you weigh the cover down, always allow a space for air to get in under the cover. A flower pot works well because it already has an air space. Remember, molds and gophers stop here. <laughs>